Hey everyone, TTT here. Let's go for some more kanji. Like always. Lesson number 20. Another 6 kanji. Oshi. Teach. Oshi for Konyomi or Kyo for Onyomi with move 11 strokes. And the shape of Oshi contains the kanji ko for child and the white side shape looks like Ona woman. So you can imagine a lady teaching some children. No wisdom. She for Konyomi and she for Onyomi with move 8 strokes. The shape of chi looks like a person in front of a mirror. The saying goes, you're wise enough to know what you'll see in the mirror. Sai. Age talent. No konyomi and sai for onyomi. Written with three strokes. You can imagine the shape of Sai as an old man with a walking stick. Tsuku. Make Tsuku for Konomi and Saku or Sa for Onyomi, written with seven strokes. The shape of Saku looks like the hammer and saw you would use to make something. Kou. Work or craft. No konyomi and ko or ku for onyomi, written with three strokes. The shape of coal looks like a work desk and you can imagine a chair next to it. Moto. Origin source. Moto for Konyomi and Gen or Gun for Onyomi with more four strokes. You can imagine the shape of Mutu as a tree stump, the origin or source of a tree. And that's it for this lesson. Now a quiz. English meaning of Chi, no or wisdom. Konyomi for make. Tsuku. Onyomi of teach. Kyo. English meaning of motto, origin or source. Kanji for the English meaning age talent. Sai. And onyomi reading of construction. Ko. And that's the quiz. Now a uh, tone invasion, probably. Yep, there we go. Let's beat up some... Well, then we can't do the Obake this time. But let's beat them up anyway. This way is easier too. First we have Meet Niku. Niku. Cloud Kumo. Which is... There. Kumo. Uh, word say, Koto. Koto. And origin source, Moto. Moto.
Okay, wheat barley. Mugi. Back. Snow. A Yuki. Set. Uh, speak tail. Anashi. Origin source. Moto. Gang. Alright, let's heal. No, oh, not a curse. All right, we have no wisdom. Chi. Chi. Uh, face expression. Cow. Cow. Country. Kuni. Koku. Wheat barley, mugi, back, and age talent, sai, sai. Now we better heal and erase that curse. First, we have meat, Niku. Niku. Winter, Fuyu. To. Voice, Koe. Sho. And no wisdom, Chi. Chi. All right, one more. Let's heal Justin. Yeah, just in case. We didn't actually take that much damage, but oh well. This could still easily beat Hana if they were to focus on her. Or on Puya for that matter. Okay, make Saku Sa. Neck Kubi uh, Sa Shu Meadow Hara Gen Eat food Shoku Ta And lastly teach She. And there we go. Next is the boss. Hmm. Ah, it's a boss. Alright, first we have Moto, Origin, Moto. Go, Language, Kata, Niku, Meat, Niku. Uh, Ko, Construction, or Work, Craft, Ku. Uh, sight talent. Sai. 
Kome Weiss. Uh, where did we do? Where did we have that one? The base. Kyo teach. Kyo. And there we go. Two. Chapter four. events. Right, let's take a look at those. Um, you didn't tell anyone, anyone about my money situation, did you? I'd really appreciate it if you keep kept it quiet between friends, yeah? And to tell you the truth, I'm not used to having so much money. It's kinda new for me. And all I wanted was a Japan getaway to blow some cash. I suppose I should fill you in, huh? Things were tough for me back in India. We didn't have much money growing up. Food was always the most important expense. I didn't have a dime to spare for my per own personal interests. When I finished school, I had a lot of spare time. I picked up a part-time job, but I still found myself bored every day. I wasted night after night scrolling through the internet, looking at clothes and stuff I could never afford. I started saving pictures of things for my dream list, things I could never buy. Shoes, dresses, makeup, DVDs, books. On a whim, I started up a blog to share this dream list. A few of my friends followed it and shared. Before I knew it, I had a hundred followers. People online that I'd never met were showing my dream list. For some reason, it was becoming popular. And, well, within a few weeks, my amount of followers went way up. I had a thousand than 2,000, 10,000. I put some ads on the blog as an idea to make some money. People could look at the dream list and if they wanted to buy something on it, they could click the ads to purchase. Before I knew it, money from the ads started rolling into my bank account. I couldn't believe it. My first paycheck was for $10, the next week $50. Week after week, more and more money came in from my blog. After 6 months of running this blog, I had nearly a million followers and my weekly income was insane, more than anyone I knew. For once in my life, I could actually afford to buy the stuff on my dream list. You have no idea how happy it made me, I wanted to make the most of it. I had decided to come to Japan, one way or another, and have the greatest shopping adventure of my life. So yeah, here we are, that's me in a nutshell. That's pretty amazing. So, I picked up a sketch pad yesterday, and I managed to find a pencil someone left lying around. I figured I'd try my hand at drawing again, after all these years. I had a fleeting sense of confidence as I grasped that pencil. But when I pressed the lead down onto the paper, I... I couldn't do it. It was like my senses were dulled. The inspiration I used to call upon just wasn't there. I tried to fight through and scribble something, anything, but have I truly lost the talent I once had? When I was passionate about drawing, I used to make amazing pieces. Now, I don't remember ever crying as much as I did last night. Despite all that's happening in our lives right now, this is what's tormenting me the most. How could I have thrown away something I cared about so much? I let my own skills grow dull and disappear. I... I threw away my childhood dream. And for what? For stability? For a job? I'm so stupid! I'm a damn fool! How do I get my dream back? Is there anything I can do? 
I... I'm sorry about my outburst. I need to learn to let go of the past. It was something I was passionate about, and although it's gone, I can find something new. Because of the path I chose to become a teacher, I'm here with you now. I'm fighting to restore Japan to its former self. If I became an artist, would I have this opportunity? Or would I become monster food? There's no point in pondering what could have been. I can only move forward now. So, I'll keep going. I'll continue to be the best damn teacher you've ever had. Even if it's not my dream, it's okay. I'm good at it. And that counts for something. For now, <laughs> shall we return to the others? After all, we still have lessons to attend to. Your bond with Hannah has blossomed into an eternal friendship. Your ties will never be severed. Hannah has given you a keepsake of your friendship. Obtained sketchpad. But damn, that hits hard. Let's see, what's this sketchpad? Ah, allows access to Hannah's room. Interesting. Let's check that out, but before that, let's take a look at the forge. We haven't actually bought anything in forever, pretty much. What's the best stuff money can buy? The hero armor, apparently. Let's buy two of these. One goes to me. Since I'm always in the party. Hana has actually maxed out her affection. That happened rather abruptly, but okay. That also means we're gonna have to switch her out, for the time being at least. Now let's take a look at her room. Oh, hello. Did you want to study some more? I have a new shortboard I can write questions on. Why are you, oh, are you here to see me? Ah, so this is basically just a way you can review we all the scenes, a recollection room. Okay, so who are we gonna put into the party? Waste from the party there. Yeah? Uh, let's go with Frederick. He's very low level. Hmm? Alright. In that case. He's gonna get the other hero armor because he will certainly need it with that low of a level. Alright, so, see you guys next time. Until then, bye bye.